Hello and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. This evening, we're turning our attention to the construction industry. Local developers are being told they don't have to go overseas to do metal slitting. Jamaica has opened its first metal slitting plant. What's that all about? TVJ's Andrew Ledley explains. Metal slitting is a sheet metal cutting process with circular knives. During the process, the sheet metal is split to make materials like gutters, roofing tiles and beams. Before now, developers imported the products, but Arc Manufacturing is changing that. It reduces our import bill and will enable the company to be more competitive and to boost its production for the local and export markets, all while adding value to the local economy. A lot of people say ARC has a local supply and local needs, but they are exporting South Africa, Turkey, Cayman, Haiti. They are an export-led economy, export-led company. It's a strategic move to increase the value-added component of the construction industry. Data indicates that the import content of some construction projects are in excess of 90% of the total project cost, and that's the reason. In these instances, where raw material inputs are largely imported, the economic benefits are credited to the countries providing these materials and explains why significant investment in construction activities are not being translated into the significant value added in the local economy. In the meantime, the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Audley Shaw, has pledged to make trading easier for manufacturers. We'll make it too hard. We'll make it too difficult. We have to make it easier for people who want to add value in Jamaica and create jobs. Arc Manufacturing commissioned the metal slitting plant on Wednesday. The company says the plant is likely to increase its production by about 50%. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. Fontana Pharmacy reports $30 million in profit for the January to March period. The outturn was up 85% when compared to the same period last year. The company said its improved performance was due to strategic sourcing, better inventory management and a more efficient buying process. To currency trading now, it ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $133.50. The Canadian dollar is going for $99.52. It costs $170.32 for the pound sterling, while the euro sells for $152.14. The JSE index gained 1,567 points today, while the junior market index advanced by nine points. Among the winners, Elite Diagnostic, Laska Manufacturing, SSL Venture Capital, Everything Fresh, and the JMMB Group. On the losing side, we had Siboney Group, Pulse Investments, Nutsford Express Services, Carbon Flavors and Fragrances, and Medical Disposables and Supplies. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.